What is going on guys? Boy Trends back in video. Today is March the 2nd, 2024, and today is game two of the series with Ole Miss versus Iowa. Now Iowa got the win last night over Ole Miss, but hopefully Ole Miss can come back and get the win today and tie the series up. Right now it is about 12 o'clock. Game starts at 1:30. And peeps, here it is. This is the Tim. Elko statue. So you Ole Miss fans know that we were national champions back in 2022. And, you know, Tim Elko was a very good Ole Miss baseball player back in 2022. He was the captain for our team, a leader, and definitely a fan favorite as well, too. And the statue was just put in like a week ago, week and a half ago. Brand new statue here at Swayze Field. And also, in the background, there's a quote from the head coach, Coach Bianco. There's a quote from Tim Elko. And then also has pictures of all the players back from the 2022 team. So this is kind of pretty cool. And once again, one of the new things here at Swayze Field this year. Can you see? And that is the end of the first inning. Now, Alwa was able to score one run. So, Alwa is up one to nothing so far in the first. And the Rebels come back and tie the game up here in the first inning. The third baseman, Andrew Fisher, just had a home run. Did not get this recorded on camera. But anyway, the ball game is now tied one to one in the first. So a little score update right quick. Things have not went too good the last couple of innings. Iowa just had a home run, and right now Iowa is beating Ole Miss 5-1. Hopefully Ole Miss can come back and get some hits and runs pretty soon. And JT Quinn's day is done at Swayze Field. Now reliever Mitch Morrell coming to the game for the Rebels. So to be honest with you, JT did struggle today, did not look too good at all. You know, JT gave up five runs, gave up some home runs, gave up some waltz, uh, several pitches in the dirt today. Just overall, it was a disappointing performance for JT for sure.
Okay, Ole Miss has two on base, and there's only one out. Ole Miss may just score some runs here. And that is the end of the fourth innings. Ole Miss has came back and won a close game. But Iowa is still on top, 5-4 to four after four innings. Now on the mound for Ole Miss is the two-sport athlete here at Ole Miss, Austin Simmons, which is a pitcher on the baseball team, but also a quarterback on the football team as well, too. Now, this kid has a crazy story. Now, this kid is supposed to be a junior in high school this year. Uh, anyway, graduated high school early, enrolled at Ole Miss early. But the kid is 17 years old right now. And guys, just look up his story. It's a very interesting and kind of a rare... Okay, peeps, so trying a new item here at Swayze Field this year. And actually, this is a new restaurant at the ballpark as well, too. Now, this restaurant is in left field, and I forgot the name of the restaurant. And also, I forgot what you call this item, but it was $15. So it is a little expensive, to be honest with you. But what this is, is it's french fries at the bottom, it's chicken at the top, but also does have some barbecue sauce on this, has some ranch, and has some cheese with this as well too. I gotta tell you peeps, after trying this out, it was delicious, and it's definitely worth $15 for sure. This is definitely a would recommend at the ballpark. Okay, bases loaded again for Ole Miss. Can Ole Miss score some more runs? We will see in just one second. Oh, 
strikeout furnace. So after eight innings, Ole Miss is on top 12 to 5. We are now heading to the top of the ninth inning. Peeps, Ole Miss got the win, 12 to 5 over Iowa. Series is now tied, 1 to 1. Game three tomorrow, and we will see who wins the series tomorrow afternoon. But peeps, that's one beat for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you could, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Would be greatly appreciated. See you guys next video. Have a good one, and of course, hotty toddy.